Welcome to the first episode of Extreme Reloading. Whether you're an experienced reloader or just getting started, over the course of this series, I'm sure you're going to learn something. And if you learn nothing else, understand that consistency equals accuracy. That's the key to what we're going to do. The first bunch of videos are going to focus on preparing our brass cases. We're going to try to make these as uniform and consistent as possible. Now half the battle is purchasing or obtaining good factory brass to begin with. I've had the best success with three different brands of, of brass. Norma, Nosler, and Lapua. Today we're using Lapua brass um, simply because it's uh, available in the 243 Winchester that we're going to be reloading through this series. My 220 Swift, I've purchased uh, Norma brass. 338 Win Mag, 7mm Mag, uh, I use Nosler brass. Start with high quality brass and that just makes the whole process that much easier. Okay, we're ready to get started. First step, whenever we start any of this sort of stuff, is we're going to take out our journal and we're going to enter the information. Today's date and exactly what we're out to do. We're prepping um, bunch of brass, 100 pieces of, of brass. And then exactly what steps we're going to follow. The very first step is a simple inspection. Wipe down that brass. Yes, it's brand new brass, but I'm still going to clean that off. Wipe it down uh, so that as it enters the, uh, the die, the resizing die, I don't scratch up the inside of the die. Uh, even before I do that, I'm going to take every one of those pieces of brass and I'm going to check that brass for any inconsistencies that may be on the inside of it. If I find some, I'm just going to toss or chuck that brass. So, here we go. Now what I'm doing is I'm using this transistor. Uh, you could use a bent paper clip, something like that. And I'm just feeling the inside of that case uh, for any nicks, cuts, whatever you want to call it. It should feel, and it does, it should feel absolutely smooth. We're going to repeat this for all the brass. Alrighty, that's done. Of course, uh, brand new brass, I didn't expect to find any problems with that, uh, and it, it's perfect. Next step, really important, is we have to lubricate these cases before we run them into the, uh, into the resizing die. We're going to give these a, a, a few squirts, make sure we have a good coverage of the, each of these cases with this, I use Hornady case lube, one shot case lube. Then we're going to give it a couple minutes to dry before we uh, run it through the die. Okay, our cases are lubed. Let it sit for about a minute and uh, threaded my die. This is a full length resizing die. Now I use full length resizing dies the very first time I size uh, and prepare brand new brass. After that, subsequent reloadings or subsequent loadings uh, are going to use uh, neck sizing dies only. This is RCBS, full length resizing die. It's an X die that retards or, or restrains, restricts uh, the growth of the case. Uh, and so we shouldn't have too much trimming to do on these brand new cases, but we'll probably have some. All right, that was easy. Next step is we're going to test the length of uh, each of these cases. Now, um, they might need a little bit of trimming. This will help us determine that. This is a, a, a case length gauge made by Lyman. And of course, we're going to use the slot made for the 243 Winchester. Yeah, that's perfect. I'm kind of expecting that with this factory brass, this Lapua. I guess it's actually pronounced Lapua but I'm just so used to saying Lapua. Lapua is some very nice brass. Um, but as is Norma, 
and Nosler. I'm impressed by all those. A given maker like Lapua may not make brass in all the calibers that you want. If you can find your caliber in any one of those three, uh, you're going to be in good shape. Well, I'm going to finish all these and we'll go on to the next step. All right, well, pretty basic stuff today. But what we've done is be extremely consistent on preparing this brass. That's going to pay big dividends in the future. Think about it. What we've done today is to better ensure consistency in the size of our brass cases. We now know that the exterior dimensions of these brass cases all fit within SAAMI, SAMI, uh, specifications. We also know that the length of these cases is extremely uniform and as we proceed through case preparation we're going to take additional steps to improve or ensure the consistency of these brass cases. In upcoming episodes we're going to turn the necks and work on these primer pockets. I hope you join us next time on Extreme Reloading.